Hello and welcome. I decided to do another uh, video today. I'll explain the reasons later, but um, essentially this isn't really a full match. I am going against uh, 12 Kawachis in my Gneisenau. It's uh, in the training room. I have uh, five Eries with me, but they aren't there to actually help me fight. They are there so that uh, they aren't armed, so they aren't, aren't gonna deal any damage to the Kawachis. Uh, the point of them is so that they uh, just die and make sure that the enemy team has enough points so that they don't lose the game before all the Kawachis are dead. By the way, if you have never tried this, um, go pick your highest tier battleship and go try fighting 12 Kawachis on uh, something like Polar. You'll see it's incredibly difficult. Uh, actually, I found that it was much easier to fight them than in Akurfurst. It was much easier to fight them in Agnizen now than Akur first. Anyway, so the reason why I'm making a second video today is because apparently when I was dealing with um, crackling issues, I thought that one of the reasons why it could have happened uh, is because I installed a second um, uh, virtual audio cable that I wasn't really using anymore. But I remember that I didn't have many issues before, so it might have been caused by that second audio cable, like that happened a really long time ago, so I don't remember exactly either way. So I figured that, well, maybe it is the issue, and I mean, I'll, I can just uninstall it and try it out and see if it works. So I tried that, but apparently, um, there was a side effect, a rather unintended one, where apparently, um, when I started now recording my gameplay, the gameplay audio was out of sync with the video by about one second, but not exactly after I had uninstalled the, the other audio cable, which is really bizarre because I wasn't really using that audio cable in the recordings that uh, caused that audio. So I, I have no idea what happened there, but the issue did appear and that was a pretty big issue because this meant that uh, every time I recorded gameplay, I would then have to resync the audio and uh, it would also have audio out of sync if I were to stream. So uh, I decided to simply um, just fully reinstall my, all my audio drivers and reset up everything in terms of audio and essentially that's what the video is about. This is just a test to see if everything is working right. I also noticed something different that I hadn't noticed before. Apparently, when I, um, essentially, the way I, um, do audio is that, uh, I, I use headphones exclusively at home. So what, what I do is I feed, uh, essentially, a program, programs feed audio into the default audio device, right? Let's say the speakers. Then, um, the speakers have, uh, something called a stereo mix, which allows me to um, essentially, it essentially ha is an audio input device, like a microphone, but it, but the input it has is exactly the same as um, the audio that's played back in the microphone, sorry, in the speakers. So essentially this, this means that you can use it to route your audio into um, other programs and start, you know, if you, ha if you have a sufficiently complex system of these, you get to pick and choose what programs get what audio, etc. And this allows me to, uh, for instance, be able to listen to uh, music without it being available in the recording or the stream. It also means that... Um, I am able to play the game and uh, record and stream at the same time so that if I record a match I can uh, talk to you guys but I don't necessarily have to put uh, that same match, same recording of the uh, voiceover into the video I upload onto YouTube. Also if I want to keep it I can always adjust audio levels etc. So it's a rather important thing. But. Uh, Essentially, what I noticed is that, for some reason, it seems that my stereo mix, that is the one that will uh, play back 
the uh, audio that's going into the speakers as uh, audio input as an audio input device it apparently boosts my audio it literally doubles the volume of audio like I tried that and I couldn't find a way to turn it off if anybody has an idea why that happens please let me know also uh, if you find if you hear any crackling on uh, the re recording then uh, I will be in despair and I would really like to hear you tell me that and uh, give me a timestamp for it because uh, well apparently if that happens then apparently my endeavors to fix it didn't work and the issue might be even deeper than I had imagined. Anyways as you can see I'm down to literally 12,000 HP against these Kavachis and like this thing is very close and the reason why you can't just keep uh, running away from the enemies is because um, they will just take your cap zone and then you are screwed. But as you can see the Ares were necessary because the enemy team only has 133 points left but they still have 4 ships and the, the enemy team loses 60 points every time a battleship dies so they were necessary to give them enough points so that they don't drop below zero. Oh wow, wow 34,000 damage in two torpedoes that that's really weird how is that possible I don't think one torpedo does 17,000 damage here if anybody can figure out why uh, those torpedoes did 34,700 34,200 damage then please let me know because two torpedoes on this ship do not do that much damage and it was not a detonation at least oh may maybe it was actually a detonation it just doesn't show detonations for the bots because you know bots don't get the achievements okay so that that could be it at, le at least i think that's it but yeah anyways essentially the audio situation is that um if there is no crackling then it's pretty much fixed and i can um probably put the question to rest and uh, deal with other things if there is crackling though oh well, that's gonna be sad and i still need to figure out why my stereo mix is boosting audio like that it's really weird but right now i'm not well i mean it it might be that in a later video the crackling issue also still pops up because um i I will put another layer in between these things because I want to feed um, the audio through a compressor so that um, when I say things too loudly it doesn't uh, kill your ears and the quieter parts will also become louder. Essentially what I was told um, when I talked to some people about it is that um, audio is an ongoing problem that will never never ever work right. At least not the way you want it to. It might work well, but never the way you want it to work too. Anyways, there are two Kavachis left. I still have 15,000 HP. If I keep my, if I keep a reasonable distance like this much, then uh, I should be fine. Like the big problem with Kavachis is the secondaries, and they will eventually set you on fire, and that fire is gonna do quite a bit of damage. I mean, my secondaries do the same, but there's 12 of them, so... Considering the fact that I don't even have double the HP of one Kavachi, well... It can be a bit problematic. But yeah, uh, it's... This 12 Kavachi thing is a lot easier in Agonizer now than uh, many other battleships, because the Agonizer now does have torpedoes, so that makes it a lot easier. L like, more than half... No, sorry, not more than half, but almost half my damage is in torpedoes. Uh, this match. The Gneisenau is also particularly good because her torpedoes reload quickly. Much quicker than uh, Tirpitz. Anyways, uh, that's all 12 of them. And I survived with 8700 HP. By the way, I have literally failed this same thing in a Kurfürst and Yamato both. So I had a bit of experience. So if you haven't tried it, I do recommend doing it. Pick your strongest battleship, go into a training room and uh, go against 12 Kavachis. Remember to actually put them unarmed and uh, put some Eries on your team so that... But make sure that they aren't armed so that, uh, you know, they don't kill the Kavachis. So it doesn't affect the game as much. And look at this. 
208,000 damage in torpedoes, 195,000 in main batteries, but that was like almost 90,000 damage in secondaries, so... Eh, it is what it is, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, I think somebody might, so... Uh, yeah, um, I'll see you next time, I guess. Oh yeah, I guess I could thank patrons. Thank you very much for your continued support, patrons. Uh, it is very appreciated, and uh, it's actually what allowed me to get this new microphone. So yeah, see you next time.